USGS researchers have been working to better understand the fault system. A fault is a fracture or zone of fractures between two blocks of rock. Faults allow the blocks to move relative to each other, and the movement may occur rapidly in the form of an earthquake. Now, one of those researchers, Bell Philobosian, has discovered that the West Napa Fault stretches approximately nine miles farther north than previously thought, as indicated by the white dashed oval on this map. Stephen DeLong is a research geologist at the USGS and colleagues with Philobosian. Because we think it's a longer fault, that means it may be able to release more energy in an earthquake. In essence, more shaking. Yusuf Topol owns Tarla Grill in Napa. In 2014, he owned Napkins Bar and Grill in downtown Napa. He described the damage his business sustained from the 6.0 quake. If the earthquake happened an hour before, we had the hundreds of people leaving the bar, so it will be it will be giving a huge damage for the, for all of our guests and maybe employees as well. As for the news, the Napa fault line is longer than previously suspected. Definitely, it makes me anxious. Still, DeLong says the West Napa Fault is considered a secondary fault or a minor fault compared to others in the Bay Area. It is an active fault. It will have more earthquakes. But it's certainly not as uh, big a player as the San Andreas Fault or the Hayward Fault. DeLong says any one of the faults in the Bay Area can have an earthquake at any time. And while researchers are adept at studying fault lines, what they can't do is predict when earthquakes will occur. It certainly is a reminder that any of the faults in the Bay Area can have an earthquake. And anyone who lives in the greater Bay Area, really in California, should have a plan to be prepared for, for strong shaking due to earthquakes. DeLong says the new research isn't a big change in how researchers think about the hazard of the West Napa Fault. Melanie Woodrow, ABC 7 News.